We're here at the Mercury Days 2015 and I'm here with Luke and Jeremy who won the World Predator Classic not just one time but now the second time and uh, yeah we are the proud sponsor of uh, together with Nitro of the one yeah, the main prize the boat the Nitro together with the Mercury engine and the Pega trailer and I just want to ask you a couple of questions also fishing wise um, because I think many anglers are interested in how you approached the tournament and how it did you have a game plan for each day or how was it for you? We do have a, a main plan of course and uh, uh, as the day is going on uh, sometimes you have to change it because sometimes uh, there are people on a certain spot where we want, where we want to fish or so uh, you have to be flexible that's uh, very important and also uh, uh, we, we look to the weather forecast for example if the, the, the wind is blowing from one direction and uh, uh, especially on, on the last day I was uh, expecting that uh, the water was uh, getting uh, more dirty because of the wind mm -hmm. so I said uh, let's go first for the birds because they need uh, uh, clear water okay and things like that it's just one example from yeah. the many things who, uh, who uh, tell yeah. who are important so it was not like you had a plan in advance of the tournament and stick to it so you adjusted also during the tournament no. uh, first day was probably a lot different from the second and then, yes, then the yes, third day yes where the zone was open for all the competitors, yeah, yeah, you yeah. probably had to make a different plan. It's, it's always you have a plan, but, but always, every competition I did, uh, always you have to change it in, during the competition, because yeah. something shows up, uh, uh, like uh, many people in the same area, then you say, you see this, you, you just see, you just, you just feel the, the fishing pressure, and then you have to think uh, again. So you have to be very flexible and uh, I'm not like you have to stick with, with the plan, that's not my style, uh, okay. our style. If uh, we have a plan and um, we feel it doesn't work, sometimes we even try it and it doesn't yeah. work and we try, we try, we, we try something different, we uh, discuss it and uh, we try it and if it feels good for both, then it is good. Yeah, yeah. until now. Most, 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 uh, <laughs> most of the time, yes. Yeah. 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 Was there a special technique or special lure that you used in the WPC that helped you to win the tournament? something yeah. unique yeah also also that is uh, we are also flexible in that i mean uh, sometimes you we, we fish with crankbaits you know when uh, we, we use the jerk baits and depending on each spot has a, a different approach because on some spots it was uh, the water was shallow with weed close to the bottom mm -hmm. but then another spot maybe only 300 meters further the weed was up to one meter and you have to fish more shallow so with another lure otherwise you're catching the weed all the time eh? so I cannot say it's only one lure. Okay. It's, it's you, also you need to be flexible with that yeah. and use what what you think it's right. It's depending on when we fish for the zander. Mm -hmm. We fish a little bit deeper. Mm -hmm. we, we don't have weed. I was fishing with a, a, a Westin shed, yeah, of course. Shetties. Uh, shetties and uh, maybe I caught uh, 80 percent of the fish with that. Vertical but, uh, fishing. Uh, no, casting. Also casting. Oh, okay. did very few uh, vertical. Almost no vertical we did. Okay. And uh, well, on the last year we did some vertical. Okay. But uh, I like casting. Many people see see me like a vertical uh, fisherman, but mm -hmm. in my Mr. heart, Sander. I like much more casting. That's that's for me the real thing. Okay. But uh, yeah, sometimes you just need to do certain things on certain moment, okay. and then I change very quickly. Okay. So, yeah. You're ready def to defend the title for a third time? We are ready. We are ready, and uh, just like uh, this uh, uh, time, we never expect to win. Mm -hmm. So that's. That's a strange thing, we never expect to win. But it's getting more difficult because um, uh, now you have the tracks for two years and people, uh, uh, a lot see. of people have seen what, yep. what we did, yep. uh, first year, second year, so so it's, it gets much more difficult for us. Uh. A lot of people are hammering the spots where we fished, we can yeah. see that and uh, yeah, yeah. I also uh, predict Okay. predicted that on, uh, for the second time I said yeah. oh many people will go to our spots so I have to uh, reinvent the lake yeah. for, for myself yeah. Yeah. Find so, uh, spot. just to say we don't can uh, we, we cannot fish any more on the same spots and uh, what I saw it was like that okay. many people went to, to the yeah. spots where we fished last year yeah. and they are fished like uh, like that okay they are dead yeah. fished so it's like a totally new yeah. approach yeah. for you yeah. 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 that's interesting yeah. yeah so you said you like casting a lot I like casting a lot yeah. and now with the nitro you drove it the first time today yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, how yeah. was it for you yeah it is it, it was fantastic of course and uh, it, it's it's more comfortable than I thought eh? you can go with a uh, very hard speed and uh, but it's 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 a learning curve of, of course, course. Yeah. But yeah. it's very good that you showed us some tricks yeah. with yeah. with uh, with the tele trim the trim mm -hmm. and, and uh, with the gas so that uh, 
that improved uh, our drive uh, yeah. a lot. Yeah, I saw in the beginning you were a bit skeptical, yeah. but yeah. then after a few minutes your mouth yeah. was rising you, you and you, you, you see, got the better feeling for yeah, it. If you see it, the boat is so low, mm -hmm. uh, you, you know what I mean? It's yes. On the water you think uh, um, the, the waves get getting in, but if you... If you um, do the throttle, it comes out a little bit, so yeah. it gets higher and, yeah, yeah. and you have no trouble at all from the waves. So yep. that's, uh, exactly, and today we had a lot of boat traffic here. Yep. Yeah, yep. And, yep. high um, waves. I think you yeah. saw that it also can handle yeah. waves quite yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. And we, yeah, we oftentimes receive the exact same question. So um, if people have not used a boat like this, they always feel like yeah, waves can get yeah. in the yeah. boat because and everywhere. Like yeah. Because when it's sitting in the water, it's low in the yeah. water, yeah. but this also gives a lot of it's uh, very stable, it's yeah. very stable, yeah. that's true. Yeah. So yeah. for casting it should be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're happy um, and congratulations again that you won the second Thank time. Thank you very much. Yeah. And, um, um, yeah, we look forward for the next year. Yeah. And, um, Are you, you competing again? I'm not sure yet, <laughs> not sure yet. Maybe I retire. <laughs> but we will see. And um, yeah, good luck for next year. Thank you. Have fun with the, uh, with the nitro boat, with the Mercury engine. Thank you. And um, good luck. Thanks for the interview. Thank you. Thanks. You're welcome.